guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another How to Look Taller video, which is part of my Look Taller series of videos where I give you petite styling tips. This video is focused on workwear and the things that I have found that have worked for me to give the illusion of extra height when I'm heading into the office. Now I'm 5'2 or 158 centimeters and I'll pop my stats just over here as a point of comparison. And back in the day, I used to rely quite heavily on high heels to give me that boost when I was heading into the office. But these days, I just don't have much of an appetite for them anymore and there are other ways that I rely on to strategically give me that visual boost. And quite frankly, telling a short person to wear heels in order to look taller is a bit of a cop out when it comes to style advice. I mean, obviously that's going to work, but it's not always the most practical and comfortable option and there are other things that we can do to visually trick the eye and make us look taller. Now when I'm heading to work and I work in a very serious corporate environment, I work as a lawyer and I kind of need people to take me seriously. One of my pet peeves is when people take me down subtly about my height, calling me cute or calling me little. My petiteness serves as a distraction from the work that I'm doing and while sadly growing taller is not an option, there are ways that you can visually trick the eye and so here are my five styling tips that I use when we're getting dressed for work. Now my first styling tip is to embrace the blazer and dress combination because this combination is particularly forgiving on petite proportions. There's less for us to keep in mind and less for us to fuss about with, particularly in comparison to wearing a full suit. Now when you think about shopping for a full suit, particularly as a short person, either a trouser suit or a skirt suit, there are so many things to keep in mind and to look out for in order to assess whether or not it's going to fit properly. And almost every time you have to take it to the tailor to have something hemmed or taken up in in order to fit your frame properly. And I appreciate there are petite friendly retailers or brands that have a petite friendly line, but I find that the range that's offered to us petites is always just not as nice. It's a little bit daggier in comparison to what's offered to taller people. And so let's take the suit out of the equation and take the most formal part of the suit, i.e. the blazer, and plonk that over a dress and you still achieve a very formal and corporate look. And so that's something that I've relied upon for many, many years. And it also means that the world is my oyster when it comes to blazers and the blazers that I embrace in my wardrobe. I've got so many different styles in different fabrics and different colors because of the versatility of styling. And normally I will let my blazer do most of the talking. And so I will normally pair my blazers with a very simple and neutral colored dress and it's the first thing that you see. I typically leave it on for the entire day because office aircon is freezing. My next tip relates to your bag and that is to keep your bag as small as possible so as not to overwhelm your frame. Now I appreciate with the new ways in which we're working and hybrid work now becoming a thing that when we're schlepping into the office there's just a lot more that we have to take with us. For example a laptop, I mean that in itself is a really bulky item and there is a fine line between finding a bag that fits all of your essentials in there versus the size of the bag but there are some compact options that don't compromise when it comes to capacity and I have two here that I'd like to share with you. The first First is my Celine small carvers tote. This one fits my 14 inch work laptop as well as all of the other things that I carry with me to and from the office like my makeup pouch, my diary, my coffee cup. I have a dedicated video about this bag and so I will link this in the cards in case you are interested in watching but I found this to be a really nice stylish and compact option. And the next one is my Tory Birch Perry tote. Also a really stylish and compact option. This one fits up to a 15 inch laptop. It's got a dedicated laptop section with a zipped compartment. This one featured in my work bags video so I'll link that as well in case you're interested. That video actually goes into detail about which of the bags in my collection fit laptops and which ones don't and how I use them etc etc and when I initially bought this one I thought that I could really only fit my laptop and that was it because I thought that it was quite narrow but it's actually really surprised me. I even fit a water bottle in here and my coffee cup. It packs a punch when it comes to capacity and one of my favorite things about it is that it doesn't overwhelm my frame. Now my next tip relates to shoes and that is pointed toe shoes are generally more flattering than round toe shoes. Now that's not to say that I don't wear round toe shoes. I love round toe shoes, almond toe shoes and pointed toe shoes. But I think when it comes to what visually makes you look taller and adds that additional bit of height to your frame, pointed toe shoes reign supreme. Now, considering I'm not wearing stupidly high heels to work anymore because I've lost the appetite for them, mid heels are now my limit. And I've got a few pairs that I wanted to share with you that I've really been loving. This is a pointed toe sling back here from Dior, which is quite low in its height, but it just makes me look taller thanks to the pointed toe. 
I've also got these mid block heels from Sarah Flint. I also find that shoes in a nude color tone just make you generally look taller as well. And these are really quite comfortable with a five centimeter heel. This is the pair of round toe shoes that I'm using as the example in the cutaways. As you can see, they are a bit higher. They're about seven centimeters, but the way in which the toe is shaped can cut off your foot and take a few centimeters visually from your height. That's not to say that I still don't like wearing them. I still wear them in more casual looks, but when it comes to workwear, I just want to look as tall as possible. Now there is a middle ground between pointed and round toe shoes, and that is arm and toe shoes. And I do think that they are flattering on petites. A perfect example of arm and toe shoes would be my Gucci loafers, which so happen to be my most worn pair of shoes recently. As you can see, the round toe isn't as stubby and it tapers into a slight point. Similarly here with my Sarah Flint ankle boots, they do the same sort of thing, as well as my RM Williams boots, which have a rounded pointed toe. I think arm and toe shoes are perfect if you enjoy a smart casual dress code because they're still dressy, but not as dressy as say a pointed toe shoe would be. Now my next styling tip and one that I completely embrace when it comes to work as a petite person is monochrome. I love a monochrome outfit. Not only are they easy to put together, but they're also very chic. And I particularly love a monochrome outfit when it comes to winter, when you're layering different textures and a long coat. I find that a monochrome outfit just looks very polished and just elongates your frame. Take for example, this navy monochrome outfit that I'm putting together now. As you can see, I'm mixing all of the different textures and I finished it off with a long coat just to elongate my frame. Similarly with this light neutral outfit that I've got for winter, as well as this khaki outfit. Now my last tip just to round out my workwear petite styling tips is one that might be considered a little bit niche, but it's one that has really worked in building the core pieces of my workwear collection. And that is to embrace Milano knit which is also known as crepe knit or tightly woven knit, depending on the brand. It's a specific type of knit that's tightly woven and has a thicker texture than most knits. And so what you get is a really stretchy, durable fabric, and it's a fantastic substitute for the traditional wool fabric that you'd find with suits. I find that suiting separates made of Milano knit or crepe knit are extremely flattering on all body types, but particularly if you're petite. And so what the fabric offers is there's a bit more give and there's a bit more flexibility with how you want to style things. Take for example this Scanlon Theodore crepe knit skirt which I bought back in 2016 when I was pregnant. I bought it during my second trimester and I'm still able to wear it today because the fabric is so stretchy and it just bounces back to its original state. I think that figure hugging crepe knit particularly on a petite is very forgiving because it's a chance for you to define your waist. So if you're shopping from Australia then I think Scanlon Theodore is probably the creme de la creme when it comes to crepe knit. I also think that it's available in the US as well and I'll link that below if there are options and I'll Alternatively, there's Country Road, which is another Australian brand, which offer excellent quality crepe knit at a fraction of the cost. Even retailers like Arquette and Reese in the UK also produce crepe knit items. I think the best way to describe Milano knit items would be tailored knitwear. There's just so much more polish and sophistication when it comes to items made from that particular fabric. And alternatively, there are other figure hugging knitwear items that have also been stars of my workwear wardrobe. There's this dress here from Reese, which I've had now for several years and I featured on my blog many, many times. It's one of those incredible figure hugging dresses that is quite long and it's made for a taller person, but because it's fitted in the bottom half, you can maneuver it so that it actually suits your petite frame. So that's also another honorable mention. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this how to look taller video to be helpful, particularly if you are petite like me. I'll also link my earlier how to look taller video in the cards in case you wanted to take a look. And I have a heap of petite styling videos in the works as well. And so you should make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those when they go live. If you like this video, then be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.